My name is Taylor Schoen and I'm from St. George, Utah. I'm a senior in the construction management program at Southern Utah University. I'm Jameson Porter. I'm from Centerville, Utah, and I'm a junior studying construction management, hoping to one day become a project manager. Left a couple days ago. I'm not sure how long it took to get over here. It was a long ways. This morning we got on a bus and drove for about three and a half hours to the Nishara Hotel here where we are now. My first impressions of being in Africa, it's, it's obviously very, very different from the United States. We decided to walk into town just to get a feel for what it's like in Morogoro. And it was really, really cool to walk down the streets. Everybody was looking at us, you know, confused. We know the, the greeting here, it's Jumbo. So we kind of said that to everybody. They're really happy and friendly. Uh, this morning we met with a contractor here named Simon and we did basically a walkthrough where we walked around the Nishara Hotel and we inspected a lot of the weak points that have been happening over the last two years since it was built and we saw a lot of things that maybe have need for improvement in the future. We noticed that the roof was a big problem, that they had leaks and it was leaking into some of the rooms. We all bounced solutions off each other and, and kind of built upon each other and we suggested it to Niani, the, the manager of the hotel here, and she was really happy with it. One of the interesting parts about the projects that we're trying to accomplish here is we're not going to be here very long until some other students come back. And so in the meantime, we need to teach some of the local technicians how to replace and to repair some of the materials that they have here and how to fix problems that they haven't fixed before. There's been times I've, I've worked on the site back in America, and I feel like I was kind of accustomed to the way things are done in the United States. And so it's good to come and see how it's not done like that everywhere else. It's done very different here in Africa, and it's probably done many different ways in different parts of the world. So today we decided to take a hike. We decided, you know, that peak's not too far away. Let's, let's go clear up to the top. As we were hiking, we came across, an, you know, a few more villages. And at one point there was a school. The kids were so happy to see us and we'd take their pictures and, and they thought it was the funniest thing to see their picture. <laughs> walking through the jungle, as you can see. Literally climbed over a mountain. We've been hiking for a few hours. There's more Goro clear down there. Another project we've been involved with is fixing the, the leaks in the showers. Driving down to Home Depot, picking up a toilet ring, they don't have that here. So we were talking to some people and they said, well, they have rubber tires that they cut up. And so we went down to town with Hamasi, who is uh, the local technician here on site. We took him into town and we found some rubber tires. We, they don't have all the materials here that we have in the United States. And so it's making us really have to think outside the box to really go through a thought process as opposed to maybe a memorized step in order to get the results that we think we need to get. In the future, the opportunity to come back here to Africa to work on the hotel that will be constructed in Dodoma would be an awesome experience. As we come here to the Nishair, we're seeing a hotel that's already been constructed, as opposed to seeing a new hotel being built and being there on site as that is built. We would be able to see hands on how they constructed from the beginning and be able to work through the problems before they happened. So that would be an awesome experience in management. Another highlight from the trip has been going to Makumi National Park. On the way there it started pouring rain and we were like, man, we're not even going to get to see any animals, we're not going to get out of the van, we're not going to be able to get any good pictures, but the rain stopped. We were driving down pretty much what's their you know, highway and the driver pointed out some things off in the trees so we heard and stopped and there were some elephants. <laughs> We asked our tour guide, we said, are we going to see any lions? And he said, nah, we hardly ever see lions. And within a few minutes of us being in the park, we saw three lions.
takana tiba on takana de oton takana honna bueke on takana de we saw a huge herd of giraffes. We counted about 29 of them. We counted and recounted. The University of Dodoma was an awesome experience. We were able to meet with the Vice Chancellor. He explained to us how excited they are for students to come over and to get involved with some of the students that they have there. Construction management students who participate in this program will be actually on the job site being able to see how the African people build. And we want to put them mainly in management positions. They will learn how to schedule and there's going to be delays, there's going to be challenges that the students will have to overcome and to be involved with. I think a student who's serious about his future would have to accept that international skills are essential. And if a person wants to be in the forefront of development in the world. They're gonna to have to learn to be able to work not just in the United States, but they have to be prepared to go and work where development is really gonna occur, which is in Africa. This is a program we deeply believe in. We're wholly committed to it. And uh, we're gonna provide as many chances and opportunities as there are students that wanna go.